I'm in the Heat Maps booth with Cyprian, the CEO, and he's going to show us something that looks pretty doggone cool. Yes, uh, I will show you today uh, how the heat maps works in, uh, in iOS applications. It's basically a software for developers who create great applications for iPhone and iPad to uh, see how their users interact with it. You know, it's a, a software to find little twitches or problems in the applications. People wanted to zoom in on a text, but you know, developers didn't do zoom. Or people want to scroll down on an interface that doesn't support scrolling. Oh, and sometimes that sounds really cool because that how do you get that normally get that information right you, you just got to watch people yeah you got to watch and what we did is we created a software that you ship to the app store and i mean thousands of people can use it and you get data from real people and you get a lot of interesting cool stuff like finding out if they like to use their software in in the portrait mode or vertical mode because some some people just prefer using a bigger screen you know and, uh, so I'm a little confused. So let's say I sell Allison's great app to the App Store. I also put a copy of this in the App Store to go with it, like a tandem app? Absolutely. This is, uh, this, uh, it's a static library. You just drag and drop it into your framework, into your application as a developer. That's oh, what you Oh, do. you ship it as part of the product? Yes, you do. Yeah, Apple approves that because it sends, it sends anonymous data to our servers. And we aggregate the data and we let you see it inside your application. Nowhere on the website, inside your application, looking. Let me show you a demo. Well, that's a really funny application. Let's turn this way. Yeah. Let's see. I just, I'm just going to shake this, uh, this app, and our menu comes out, and I have a choice of viewing all touches or single touch. This is one of our clients' applications. Yeah, did you have to pick that app? Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, That's okay, keep going. Keep going. So, let's see. This is the place where they want to touch. They don't want to log in, they don't want to register, they just want to go somewhere else. Let's see what the gestures they do. Well, let's see the gestures. They don't really rotate too much. They don't zoom in. This is also audio, so I'm going to tell a little bit about this. It shows clockwise, only four people, counterclockwise, eight. But pinching and zooming appears to be big. Yeah, more of swiping. I mean, people want to swipe even though it doesn't support swiping. Oh, so interesting. 59% of the people tried to go down, and it doesn't. Yeah, that's correct. So uh, I always laugh at this uh, because when Google first introduced their website, people were also scrolling because there was just one little box. There's got to be something more. Absolutely. So they, they find out that they need to put the you know Google copyright on the bottom to make them stop scrolling. So it's interesting that we don't think about those little things, but users, if you don't tell them, they will you know, try, try to do things. Try to right do things. Yeah. And for you as a developer, it's a good idea to see how people interact in their original um, environment at home, at work. Right, right. And you can make it be more natural. Absolutely. If the button was in the upper right, but everybody's touching the lower left to Absolutely. get to it, it wouldn't work. And sometimes, you know, the buttons are small and people get frustrated. Not everybody has a good eyes. Depending on what's your target, right? If you have older people as a target, you may need to get the feedback to make the application larger because they would want it to be. And this software will uh, let you see that. That is really cool. So how, how do you price this? Okay, it's free for one screen of the application because you know we want to give the people uh, ability to see it and if they like it, they can buy it, uh, another screen for 10 bucks. So, so what does a screen and another screen mean? Okay, well this, this is one screen, right? And for instance, if I go to settings, that could be another screen. If I go to... Uh, What's oh, oh, I see what you mean. A screen within the application. Yeah, within the application, okay. yeah. So you said it was free for the first screen, but how yeah. much for the... Ten dollars. Ten $10 for another screen. And if so, so if you had ten screens, it'd be a hundred dollars? Yeah, but it would be cheaper because we give discounts. More you buy, less you pay. So it will be probably around eighty. That is that is absolutely fascinating. This is a, this is really a, a new thing. I haven't ever seen anything it like this. It is a new thing. We've spent about a year uh, working on it, you know, making it better. Uh, overcoming uh, problems because generating heat map is a very long process but we do it with a powerful servers and we just send you the results so you don't have to wait and you get it always the fresh real-time data that is fantastic well thank you very much Supreme. good luck thank you so much